Recently, I did a Target dollar section haul and shop with me, and in that haul, I found these sets of cards. They're all about good habits, good manners, social skills, that kind of thing. I put them in our Target dollar toy test, and you guys told me that you would love to see some activity ideas for this. So that's what we're gonna talk about today. Hey, hey, you guys, it's Christina from the Purple Alphabet. We are talking about manners, good habits, good social skills, and it's all based around these cards that I found at the Target dollar section. You can find these right now. I have two, I think there are a couple more of them. One is practicing good manners and one's practicing being a good citizen, but you don't need these. What I'm gonna do is show you a way that you can do this on your own. Plus, I wanna show you some activities that you can incorporate these into your homeschool routine, your classroom, or even at home with your own children. If you're new around here, I do educational activities for kids, ideas and inspirations to learn learn through play and I would love it if you were to join us. Make sure to click that subscribe button so you don't miss out because I love making videos and hearing from you guys. So let's get into the activities with these cards. So this whole video is based off these two sets of flashcards that I got at the Target dollar section. But if you don't have these, don't worry, I have solutions for you. This is what spawned the whole video and why we're doing it. So these are good manner flashcards. These are good citizen flashcards. Each one of these packets were $3 each and inside were just jumbo flashcards. I'm gonna show you here in a minute and they're recommended for ages pre-k and up both sets are very similar in that the good manners one kind of goes over into good citizens one a little bit and then the good citizen one kind of goes into the good manners one but for the most part they all have different situations on each set of cards and on the back they have the solution to that particular situation now here's the thing you can easily make these easily make these on your own with some pictures, clip art. If you wanted to just write them out on post-its, that would also work. So what I wanted to do is just kind of put them out here so you can kind of see what's inside this package. These are the situation sides of the cards and this is the good manners cards. So if you wanted to get inspired, now's your time to do so because I'm gonna lay them all out for you. Okay, so here's the first set and then I'm gonna flip them over so you can see what they say on the back. It'd be a good spot to pause in the video, write them down or take a screenshot. So here's the front side of the first set of 10. And here's the flip side of that same 10, kind of the answer to the situation. And I'm doing this because a lot of you are in other countries, you don't have access to Target to buy these, and they're not regularly accessible. So this should give you a really good idea where to start, and maybe you can pick and choose the ones that you like best. I'm gonna do the next set of 10. Okay, here's the next set of 10, and hopefully the glare isn't too bad. The cards are a little bit glossy, so it's hard to read them. Hopefully that helps a little bit. I'm gonna flip them over. Here's the answers. And then the last set of 10 plus one more extra. And here's the back side. I'm gonna put out the good citizen cards now. And flip them over. Second set of 10 for the good citizen cards. Flip them over to the other side. And what's kind of cool too, if you make these on your own, you have some flexibility that you can change them up. You can put scenarios that are specific to your household or to your children, and you can also change the answers to be what you deem appropriate for your house. And the third set of 10, and then here's the extra one. And I'm gonna flip them over. And here's the back. And then also the back to that extra one. So now that you have an idea of what's included inside these cards, I'm gonna give you some ideas on how to use them. Plus, I'm gonna show you some other activities with other materials that you can print out for free. But first, we're gonna work off these cards, for example. And I'm gonna tell you the first thing that we did with them is that we just went ahead and read off the scenario on each different card. Then we talked about the possible answers. It was really fun to see the answers that my children had for each one of these scenarios because it was sometimes unexpected. But it also gave some really great opportunities for some discussion and some answers that they didn't maybe even know yet. And then we were able to talk about it right away off the bat. This gave me a really good opportunity to know where my kids stood, what things they were aware of and what things they weren't so that we could work on them in everyday life. So that's the first and most simple way to use these cards. The next way is to present a couple of card options. This is especially easier if the child can read. And then you give them a scenario. So maybe the answer is to recycle them. Which one of these things would you do recycling as a result? 
and you can read through each one of the scenarios and decide, hmm, throwing paper in the plastic trash. If you know something, that you did something wrong that has nothing to do with recycling, so we can move that one out. And then if you stop using some things in good condition, so it's gonna be one of these two, and then you can turn it over for the answer. And so this is kind of a trivia question kind of thing and matching by giving them the answer. And you can do it opposite too. You can turn it over for the answer and provide the scenario of which one it would fit the scenario. So say, what would you do if you had some trash and you needed to throw it out? What could you do instead? And then that would be the recycling. And this one you can pick and choose your scenarios. These cards are also really great for role playing. So you can pick any card, like this one right here says, if someone disagrees with your opinion, what should you do? You could role play it and act it out in the different scenarios and to act out the appropriate response that's on the back. And this just gives some real life situations. If you don't wanna act it out in person, you can bring out dolls, you can bring out felt puppets, you could bring out any kind of toys that you have or you know play kits, play sets, and just act it out that way. So acting out and doing a role play is gonna take the learning even farther. If there's something on these cards that's always happening in your house, you can work on those specifically. This one's about knocking on the door, so maybe you place this on your refrigerator and it's the activity that you work on that week and that skill that you want to improve for that week as well. There's some other ones such as table manners in here too, or saying nice to meet you when you meet someone else, so you can work on these individually every week and then keep on adding on until you've kind of mastered them all. So that's a great way to use these cards. I'm gonna move on and show you some other things that I found on the internet that are free printables. In case you don't have access to those and you don't want to make all those cards. This first one is a free printable. It's called Fighting with Friends. It's a social reasoning activity pack. And when you look at all these activities I show you, you're just going to have to adapt the ones that are appropriate for the age range of your child and then kind of work the activities that will be best suited for your kids and their skill level as well. So this one is a really great printable. I really liked it. Um, I kind of printed it on front and the back here. But on the back here, it has some situations and they're just written out for you, different things that your child may encounter. And then ask what you would you do and so this is really fun you could cut these apart talk about them at the dinner table put them in a restaurant kit just gives you some conversation to really build off and to learn these skills and then there's kind of a couple sheets of those but what I also like about this pack is that there's this other true and false kind of quiz on here and then there's questions and you would just answer it this one says most friends argue once in a while true or false and you can run through all the different questions and talk it over with your children to decide whether or not these are things that are true or false and it's gonna spark some really great conversation so this is called a social reasoning activity pack. I'm going to put the links directly to the websites, the blogs that I found these on down below in the description box so you can get them, but they are free and just make sure that you're reading carefully when you go to the websites that you're clicking on the right thing to get the correct printable. Okay. So really like this one because it's printed out situations, very similar to the cards, just in paper form. And you can even cut them out, laminate them, put them on your own pretty cardstock, and they would be just amazing. So love these a lot. Another activity I found that was a free printable, this is called social scripts. So basically it is giving your child some things to say when they're in certain social situations. So you could use these alone as a standalone, I'm gonna show you in a minute, or you can even use them with the cards depending on which cards you're using. This website had several different ones. The one that I the one that I picked to show you is called Things I Can Say When I Lose a Game because this is totally relevant in my house. If you have kids who are sore losers, oh, I'm right there with you. But it comes in one big sheet and all you do is you print them out, mine printed front and back, and then you can punch a hole in them, laminate them if you're gonna be using them a lot because they'll last longer. And then I just use this little ring binder and these ring binders, binders came from the dollar store or you could just tie a ribbon around them. I mean, get, you can get very, very creative, but just making it super simple to do. And then what's inside are these little cards that give you things to say if you lose a game. I'd like to play again. I hope I can win next time. Would you like to play another game? And it gives them options. And so when you role play and do these, that they're ready and equipped to actually use them out in the real world when they're out in the playground with their friends. So definitely highly recommend social scripts. But the one I'm gonna link you up to is the one for this, if you lose a game. Brilliant idea, definitely would highly recommend having a couple of these around the house. Another free printable, this one's called Let's Eat Neat. So basically this is table manners. Very, very specific here. 
But I like it because it has these the situations before we eat, while we eat, and after we eat in these columns. And it has all the things that would be for good manners. And then on the opposite side of the sheet, it has a do you use your hands or fork for these particular menu items. And then it has the wrong and right way to hold your utensils. Now, what's really great about this is once you print it out, you could use it as kind of a placemat. Um, these are those little dry erase pockets that are at Dollar Tree. Sometimes we see them at the Target dollar section. They're at Lakeshore Learning. Um, they're on Amazon. I'll probably have to put some in my store. But you can just slide this in here and it keeps it nice and neat. Sorry for the glare again. You can see it at the table and then you can go through it. You know, did you wash your hands? You know, you can mark it off. Did you sit up straight? Are your elbows off the table? And you can mark it off. I'm doing really bad check marks, you guys. And you can go through the whole thing and answer, and it's kind of an interactive way. And then also on the other side, you can do the little activity over here as well. A very physical kind of thing to do while you're running through your manners at the dinner table. And I think this one would be a huge hit, and I like that it's very visual, and you can also talk about it as well. Pretty cool idea. This is an empathy game that I kind of put together using some free printables. The free printables come on a one sheet printout, and there's all these different scenarios in here. So she's waiting for grandma to arrive. She was told by the teacher to stop. His ice cream fell off his cone. He wants a new toy. I mean, all kinds of situations in here. You can do this on your own. You don't necessarily even need to print this out, but this gives you a really good start to doing so. Over in this section, I have some cards. It actually came from a larger set. I kind of pulled it out so you could see. Unfortunately, they aren't made anymore. They are emotion wallet cards and they're out of print. They're no longer made, but you can most certainly print out pictures of faces or children or even draw your own to do this as well. So you can do the situations by themselves and just talking about the solutions or what I wanna do is have them match out the faces of the children to the actual activity card, okay? So they can imagine what the child's face <laughs> this is actually funny. Face might look like if his ice cream cone fell off the cone, um, off the cone. Ice cream fell off the cone. Can't talk today either. And so you can match up the faces like that. And then I put post-it notes over here so they can write their response. So this is probably for a school age, middle elementary student, middle school on up, and they can write out the scenario, kind of in a three part thing. If you have multiple children, this would be a fun game too, that you each write out different responses and then you can post them up somewhere. Many different ways you can do this. Even with the younger children, you can just talk about faces and how people feel. But basically we're working on empathy here and understanding some social skills on how to react to people who've been through these different situations. I also wanted to include some books because I think books are a great way also to do these skills and learning about manners and learning about social skills. One of my all-time favorite are the Berenstain Bears books. This one's a Forget My Manners. I mean, this was actually my book. It's kind of all yellowed <laughs> from when I was a little girl, but you can get the idea. This one definitely goes over manners and, and talks about it in a really cute and clever way. So this one I'm going to put into my Amazon store so you can have a direct link to that. Some other manners books that I want to point out. Um, this one, these are perfect, perfect, perfect for uh, a pre-K or a preschool uh, level. They're called Please Mr. Panda and I'll Wait Mr. Panda. They're just clever and cute, really easy reads. They're picture books, not as in-depth as the Berenstein Bears books, but they're still super, super cute. And two of our favorites in our house because we tend to like pandas. And then also, these are perfect for that toddler age or even preschool age. They're the Little Dinos series. I mean, especially if your child loves dinosaurs, these are gonna be great. We have the don't yell, uh, don't bite, don't push, and don't hit, and it's basically these dinosaurs are learning how to be good dinos by not doing those things. And it's just a really bright, vibrant, super easy um, picture book. The pictures are amazing. And so it just really drives home the point and actually brings a little bit of giggles. So um, definitely recommend this series for the youngest, youngest ones in your house. So toddler to pre-K, these are pre-K to kindergarten. And then this one um, can be for anybody if you're gonna read it to them, but also a little bit older, first grade, second grade. And once again, I'll put all of these links to these printables in the description box, plus a link to my Amazon store if you wanna check out some of these books for manners and social skills. If you plan on making your own cards or using these cards to do some activities let me know down below in the comments or maybe you have some ideas that you would like to share with everybody. I like it when you guys are commenting and giving each other ideas down in the comments. I think that is fabulous. Click subscribe to see more videos like this and give me a thumbs up to show your love.